as the Canadian government continues to get a foothold in the market of building electric vehicles, all the while offering tax breaks to residents who are buying them, some are turning their focus to our country's electric grid. As more EVs hitting the road, what's it going to do to that grid? Joining us more to talk about this, Akash Harpalani, Director of Clean Energy at the Atmospheric Fund. Thank you so much for joining. Thanks for having me. So that is the big question. In an ideal world, you know, we are not... Uh, using up what we need to when it comes to the gas. We are be, being very wary of the environment. But, but do we have the infrastructure to support it, say, five years down the road, ten years down the road? What does that picture look like for you? Yeah, so it's no secret that as more and more people switch over to electric vehicles or EVs, it's going to create additional demand for electricity and potentially have a significant impact on the grid. Mm -hmm. um, but one of the great things about EVs is that they... Uh, they offer a ton of flexibility in terms of when you charge them. And so if you can manage that demand in a smart and coordinated way, uh, you can mitigate a lot of that impact. The key of when you charge them is that a lot of people will be charging at the same time. A lot of people working around the same windows, not necessarily the 9 to 5, but maybe looking to the evening to make that charge. So you have partnered uh, with a company. Let's talk about this pilot program, which sure. looks at the behaviors of EV drivers. Yeah, so we've partnered with this uh, technology company called OptiWatt. Uh, they really are specialists in managing electricity demand. And so what we're hoping to demonstrate here in the greater Toronto and Hamilton area is that if you do manage that electricity demand and move a lot of that demand from, you know, your evening peak period mm -hmm. to, to overnight, uh, you can mitigate a ton of that impact that you would otherwise see on the electricity grid. Okay, so let's talk about uh, who's involved in this pilot program, how many people have signed up, and, yeah. and some of the behaviors that you anticipate you'll see. Yeah, so we're looking to enroll about 2,000 customers here in the greater Toronto and Hamilton area. Uh, we're at about 1,100 customers that have enrolled so far. And what we're hoping to show through this program is that uh, through moving some of that demand from the evening peak to later in the day, it can provide both cost savings for customers as well as help balance the power grid for utilities. Let's look at some of the numbers uh, just from 2023. Zero emission vehicles made up over 10% of new registrations in our country yeah. last year. F over 49,000 zero emission vehicles registered in Ontario in 2023. That number, as we know, is going to continue to grow as we see availability in the vehicles and a number of car manufacturers stepping up to the plate and making their EVs available um, as per what our country would like to see when it comes to emissions. Do you think we're going to get there? Be or will there be a weird transition period, which I feel like we're in a, a gray zone right now. Yeah, so probably it will depend on uh, the price competitiveness of electric yeah. vehicles compared to internal combustion engine vehicles or ICEs. Um, but we do expect that the price or the sticker price for electric vehicles will continue to drop. And so because of that, we will see adoption rise. And as a result, uh, demand on the grid will increase in the coming decade. All right, so let's talk about how, if you are an EV owner and you want to jump on board this pilot yep. program and learn more about the behaviors and how you can save some money and how you can help the grid, uh, there is an app specifically. It is free. What should someone do and where do they look for it? Yeah, so if you want to, uh, if you own an electric vehicle and are located in the greater Toronto and Hamilton area, uh, you can go to the Google Play Store or the Apple App Store, download the OptiWatt app. It's free to enroll. It's easy and uh, you know, it'll save you money in the long run. Um, if you want to learn more about the program, you can also just navigate to our program website at optiwatt.com slash GTHA. The results you hope to publish from this pilot program sometime next year. Yes, that's correct. So we are enrolling customers right now, and uh, we're looking to collate the results and mm -hmm. publish something um, on our website at the middle of next year, 2025. When you have the results yeah. from this pilot program, do you do anything with it when it comes to the federal government? Do you present any of that and have any conversations there? Uh, well, we will be working with our local utilities as well as the province and probably the federal government mm -hmm. as well uh, to disseminate those findings and make sure that they are uh, fully baked into any sort of future long-term planning that all of these uh, bodies are doing to accommodate EVs in the future. Great, yeah. because it'd be really interesting to see the behaviors, and I think, you know, all of this, this is an ecosystem, right? It all goes hand in hand in seeing the customers and what can be done infrastructure-wise, because this is the future, as yeah. you've noted. Akash Harpalani, I appreciate your time, and we look forward to seeing those results. Thank Great. you. Thanks for having me.